Domestic and family violence in all its forms is a widespread problem in Australia, affecting thousands of men, women and children every day. However, domestic and family violence is mainly perpetrated against women and their children by men. Approximately one quarter of women in Australia have experienced at least one incident of violence by an intimate partner. Domestic and family violence against women has reached a crisis point in Australia and it's up to all of us to do something about it. Domestic and family violence can include physical hitting and sexual assault. It can also include verbal, emotional, social, psychological and financial control and other behaviours that limit a person's freedom to think and act. It usually happens when in a close intimate relationship and involves a pattern of violence, threats and controlling behaviours, making a woman anticipate what her partner's mood and reactions might be and causing the person to live in fear. Often when we think about domestic violence, we think about physical injuries, broken bones, bruises, uh, visits to the emergency department of the hospital, but that's not the, the entirety of domestic violence. Domestic violence is about power and control. Um, it's when one person misuses power and control over another person, whether it's uh, their partner or ex-partner, or whether it's somebody within their family. Who are you talking to on there? It's nobody, it's just someone I work with. Someone you work with? Yes. What's his name? Peter. So he's new to the business, is he? Yes. Oh, he's new. Okay. Okay, how long has he been there? Two weeks. Two weeks? Yes. And you haven't told me about him? What do you want me to say? Don't, don't listen to what I say. Let okay? go of Who me! I can't that? breathe! Stop it! Right. Wallet. All I ask is that you show up on time, dress nicely, looking pretty and looking interested. And you can't even do that for me. Like, I thought you cared about this relationship. I do. You do, but you don't do what I need you to do. Ever. You're always like, look how you're dressed. Where'd you get this top from? What is this? You look like a moron. Just turn up wearing normal clothes. I'll try better next time. Yeah, you'll try better next time. You always say that. I've given you so many chances. There's so many other chicks out there that would treat me better than this. And, and why, why would I waste my time with you? Look, a broad range of people experience domestic and family violence, but we know in Australia, um, largely the, the, the majority of victim survivors are women and children. I think in the past we've had, um, you know, some really fixed stereotypes in our head about where domestic and family violence occur. We know that it exists in every single community. Um, it exists in every suburb in Australia. I often, when I'm talking publicly, um, talk to the fact that um, I think it probably touches every family in Australia in, in some way. If it's not in this immediate generation, then, then previous generations. There are a number of communities um, or people from communities who may experience uh, the impacts of violence more. Um, you know, if there is maybe racism, homophobia, social inequality or discrimination, it can be really hard to reach out and get help. Across the board, evidence shows that one in four women have experienced emotional abuse by a partner since the age of 15, compared to one in six men. One in six women are almost three times more likely to have experienced violence by a partner since the age of 15, compared to one in 15 men. On average in Australia, one woman a week is killed by her intimate partner. Rugby League is a, a powerful organisation within country New South Wales. It's generally the hub 
of, of the society and the communities out there and we have, a, we have an opportunity to send a powerful message to the community and to other rugby league bodies. It's not just uh, something we take uh, lighthearted. We want to educate people into eliminating that from, from society and particularly rugby league clubs. Growing up in a family where there's violence going on, um, it can be really, really tough to heal from that, which is why it's so important that we have a whole of society approach to this. When you think about the community level, this is impacting on every community in Australia. It's time for us to step up um, and say this is not going to happen in Australia anymore. We've got um, a generation who has grown up with violence and it's time to stop that. Tackling violence and the CRL's involvement in this campaign is so important. Uh, we have an urgent call to action as a nation. Women and children and men are dying at horrific rates in Australia. I'm speaking out from my experience of losing my mother at a young age to domestic violence and my experience of being a victim. I don't want to see my daughter ever experience anything to do with domestic violence. If we don't work together now and make a change, um, our kids will learn that that's the only way and that's where the change needs to happen. We need to teach our kids what a real relationship is like.